to what extent do children get involved in politics in any democracy today i want us to focus on children and politics the topic has been motivated by the fact that today while President uh, William Ruto was in uh, Nakuru, one of the young ladies who was reciting a poem told him not to, uh, to betray his colleagues. Before we dwell into that, kindly if you are watching this channel for the, sub, uh, for the first time, subscribe so that whenever YouTube produces, uh, whenever we produce an another episode, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for those who are already members, thank you for your continued support, continue watching, and the share, share to every group that you know because these ideas are very useful they help in uh, decision making one can use them for decision making this is literally known as the house of ideas okay back to our topic children and politics literally today children or a child already one the president against betraying his friends whom they participated in hunting for food all over the country this has motivated me so uh, to come up with, the, with this topic so that to look at the role that children play in the politics to what extent Will you agree that children play a significant role in the politics and how? Before I highlight on how children play any role in politics, I'll give a bit of my experience of what happened when I was very young, very little. I remember I was with my mother in a, a shamba nearby. The road and in our home you can see a road the road uh, that road which is passing nearby our home from the other hill so when i looked to the that side of the mountain i saw three vehicles passing so i decided to run so that i could see them pass by by the road that's what i did I ran and I was by the road. Fortunately or unfortunately, when I arrived by the road, those vehicles came and they stopped where I was. And the young man came out of the vehicle with the suits. They greeted me and they asked me, Do you know any one of us? As I knew one person. And that person was very happy because by then he was with the Professor Ungeri and uh, so he was proud because he's known by a child and among all of them no one was known. I knew the man from uh, the Susu because he used to work with my father. So what happened after they talked to me they asked me the way I, the road to a given place so I told them when I told them they took a packet of sweets they gave to me they asked me do you know this man I told them no this is Professor Ongeli he wants to be our MP your member of parliament uh, as from and make uh, as from this general election. So I, I, I wondered what is to be a member of parliament. When I took the sweets, they told me when you go back home, when you, you go back to your parents, tell them 
that I was given this week by uh, Professor Samongeli and is our uh, incoming member of Parliament. And I showed them the rule. So, after that, now they was unhappy of the minister, I, I mean the the Ongeli then and his colleagues passing by the schools, primary schools, because I was in primary by then, giving us sweets and telling us that when you go back uh, home, tell your parents that you are given uh, sweets by uh, by uh, someone uh, so that they can know they can know about him. He's a good person. They could give us balls for games, sometimes games kids for our team players. So that's when I came to, uh, to, to be attracted to politics. And this one I told the Hungary committee during the campaign. So children do play a very significant role in politics. They do this in several ways. One, through poetry. If it was any ordinary person who spoke to the president that don't betray your colleagues, by the end of today, that person could be kept somewhere. Or you could see this year around his home looking for every mistake that that person has done. But when a child speaks, everyone is calm, everyone is settled, everyone wonders how does this child know to bring out or to articulate this information before people, whether told or not. Like today the child was very young, but he could recognize readers very efficiently. He could invite the president, president to the podium and tell him now you can have a seat. So the information that was given to the president was very specific that work together in your party. So that is, to me, I can say that is the stand of children. And today, even children are very knowledgeable in the politics. They understand, actually, uh, civics, social studies, starts as areas they get to school. They start to know what the government is. They start to know the figures of government. They see uh, they are always with the social media, the phones. They carry their fathers and mothers' phones. They are the custodians. So they know Ruto. They know who and the who. Maybe the child has been seeing how things are unfolding or the surrounding. They say that if you are like, contesting in an election and you have given you have gone to a given village and you want to know whether you are a popular, listen to the children. If you are a popular in that area, they will be singing your name. Or if you try to greet them, they will ask you, are you this person? So if you are not the one, they will have asked you the other person who is popular. So if you hear children singing around a given locality, know that you are the man on the ground singing. We had uh, a choir that was perfectly used during the uh, during the Moi regime from Machakos. Kwe, 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 kwe. Yes. For those who know, I think it was Machakos, it Machakos girls out of Mungano, can't remember, but it used to pass specific information to those who were against the Kanu regime. Specific songs are sung in order 
to pass a given information. Poems are recited to pass a given information. Mean uh, the crafters, the script writers of the poems, for example, there was a time in 19, around 1992, when uh, we had the issue of uh, whether the constitution be amended in parliament or where else. And by then, Moi was. Uh, I wanted the constitution to uh, mean the constitutional or minimum reforms to be amended in uh, in parliament. That is when they were saying, hey, should they be should the reforms be after the elections or before the elections, which led to minimum uh, reforms before the elections. So. Uh, Moi was in that the, uh, the reforms be done by elected leaders and legislators like Oriango were moving from Tononoka, you have Shabab grounds and everywhere. So Moi was asking whether the elections to be done by, by the roadside or parliament by elected leaders. I remember we had to craft to draft uh, a poem in Kiswahili or Shairi to sing to the tune of uh, the government because by then again Professor Ongeri was coming to our school with a given Minister for Education Kitungeno Arab Ngeni. I think it's the right to do our ambe. So we had to craft a, a poem that goes whether erections, I mean whether reforms should be done on the roadside or should it be done by a parliament where people have been elected by many. This one was possible. This information could easily be passed by children rather than us because for example, I was a, a board of governor teacher, and you know board of governors actually are never paid. They don't, they don't pay even the BOM. There are people who are suffering, who are being mistreated by the ministry. Instead of the ministry employing, they just want shortcuts to have their duties performed. So, such, such information, some specific information, are passed by children which otherwise cannot be spoken by teachers so as to praise the readers in order for them to do something good for the school so songs dancing dancing has been done by by children signifying specific information during singing because he has to accompany uh, the singing that uh, children have as well been used as crowd for us i will also give uh, this this uh, the example of Moi because that's where it was fully perfected. If Moi is coming, for example, to Moranga County, nearly the entire three divisions around that area were to be at the school. So there was no way that uh, the president could miss a crowd that will support him. And the crowd in most cases was lined up along the road. Several schools, if he was going to Muranga, several schools will line up on the way to welcome him. Of course, some 
uh, he, he was, I uh, can say, he never distributed sometimes resources effectively because you could be 10 schools and they will give maybe one girls and one boys schools uh, money, bread, while others go home uh, without anything. So they are used as a crowd poorer. Even today, if uh, the president, for example, is going to Makweni and they realize that there are no going to be people, no child will stay at school, at any school nearby that they will all be sent to the venue so that when he goes there, he will be seen that he has some good number of population. He has a a crowd. Children have as well been used to cheer up, to remove shame from leaders. You will find them, they have been given flags. Of course, that flag can also be used as a way of passing patriotism unit of the state. What I can say from the children and the politics in Kenya is that they should be nurtured towards being good patriotics, good uh, patriots, and they should uh, as well be given an environment that will, in their later times will make them registrate good roles in case they are in various positions at whatever or whichever rank. Thank you.